in the kitchen early. And do you know what day it is? How about National Donut Day? Yes, we're gonna be celebrating donuts. And I know many of us have our favorite, maybe brand or when that hot sign is on, we like to stop in. Maybe you even like your own toppings on it as well. I do like those that are filled with the cream and the chocolate on top. Those are some of my favorites. But I thought, hey, we can have our own hot donuts, pick our own toppings and make it right here at home. We can do a recipe using canned biscuits and we can fry our own donuts and put our own toppings on. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do caramel. Uh, so let's get started. I'm just gonna put some vegetable oil in my uh, skillet. Starting off fresh with this one, with a fresh batch of oil. And I'm gonna fill it about a third of the bottom full. That should do it right there. Okay, then I'm gonna put it over on my stove on an eight. We wanna get the temperature to about 375 degrees. So it won't take but just a second for that to happen. And we can make a a sugar cinnamon thing to toss them in or just simple powdered sugar all kinds of ways that uh, we can enjoy a donut on national donut day i know when i was young every time we'd see that hot sign on guess what mom's pulling right in and we're getting a dozen of those glazed so i'm just going to use uh the canned biscuits uh these happen to be the uh, jumbo biscuits buttermilk and what I'm gonna do is you can either take a shot glass or you can take a, a champagne flute and that can be your hole. I think this one's just a little bit smaller or if you want to sit there and cut the hole out yourself, you can do that. Just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna spray this and I'm gonna go right down the center of that donut, just like so. There's our round. And you know what? I'm not letting that go to waste. I'm gonna fry it too. <laughs> That'll be just as good. So I'm gonna have eight donuts here and eight of these little small ones. And uh, once I'm done with this, our heat should be getting, our oil should be getting hot. Yep, this is not for those of you who have been asking me about things for diabetics. This is not going to be for you today. But if you've got kids or grandkids, they might like to make their own donuts. What if I've got a smaller? Those are just cute like that. <laughs> Maybe we could stuff them with something, sneak a a chocolate in it or something. Be something just a little different. I won't have anything smaller, I don't think. But this is obviously going to uh, puff up while it's cooking, just as it would if we were baking them. Very economical. I, of course, got the off-brand. I didn't, I don't see that big of a difference unless you've got a coupon or something to uh, help you out with that. So here we go. I'm gonna use some caramel and I've got some semi-sweet morsels that we'll put on top and who knows what else we might find along the way. But in the meantime, let's go over to the stove and check on our heat. So let's test out our oil and see if it's hot. If it sizzles, it's hot. I think I need to get it just a little bit warmer even though it's sizzled. You know, there is a, a way you can do this yourself, almost as if you were going to make biscuits but you're not going to put the lard in it um but you're going to make your all-purpose flour with your yeast and you got to let it rise for 90 minutes i don't have time for 90 minutes to wait so we want to get this one done just going to let it get it brown on each side isn't that pretty i think we're doing pretty good we'll go ahead and Add the rest of these round ones in. Of course, the oil's gonna get a little 
cooler as I put all that in, so it won't cook as fast as that one. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. That one will be good to run, run around in some sugar and some cinnamon. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that one up. That's about how that's going to look. Put it on my plate. These other ones are getting there too. See how easy and quick this is? I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Cooking a little too fast. The inside might not be getting done like we want it to. Here comes a round one. I guess they're all round. One just got a hole in it and the other one don't. <laughs> So that's pretty, real pretty. All right, yes, we're getting there. We're gonna add another one. Another one. That ought to be good for that. We'll let these cool. I bet the kids, if you got grandkids, the kids would love doing this. Because they get to top their own with whatever they want and whatever you've got around the kitchen. I'm going to turn it down one more time. So now I've got it down to five because I've only got two more here, three more. And I don't want them to get a burnt taste to them. All right, so that's looking real good. All right, I'll finish these off and we'll go top this. As you can see, it does not take long. Just be very careful uh, to not get your grease too hot. You want to get it done, but you don't want to burn it. So there's my donut. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to top it with some caramel. Oh, it said to shake well, and I didn't do that. Oh, well. <laughs> Follow directions, Kyle. There we go. Got us a nice caramel drizzle. Just for extra, let's throw us in some. They're not gonna stick to it, I don't think. We can make it work though. Cause you know what? I still got spoons. So there's our donut. Give me a little piece of chocolate. Winner, winner. Donut dinner. It's not a chicken dinner, it's a donut dinner. I bet you this will be good. Sop that up. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to have to find something that sticks a little better. See how nice and pretty that is? Voila! Here we go. Make you some donuts. The kids will love it. And I think you will too.